33, testing 1, 2, 3. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Christmas Eve, the 24th of the 12th, 2015. Okay, in this video update, we will have a look at the, the tropical low up here over the NT to track east, into the Gulf to form a cyclone, and then down through western Queensland to bring heavy rain. Also the monsoon trough to come down the north Queensland coast and continue to bring heavy rain there. Currently on the weather zone radar over the past six hours, you can see up here around the northern Northern Territory and particularly the Darwin region, you can see a deep tropical low up here spinning away, delivering huge amounts of rainfall. There's been up to 250 mils there recorded in the past 24 hours. That system is expected to continue today while beginning to track east across Northern Territory, the north of Northern Territory, and then enter the Gulf waters on about the Boxing Day in a couple of days' time, uh, and then potentially develop into a tropical cyclone. Um, it is then forecast to track down here. We'll show you that shortly. Down over here on the North Queensland coast, you can see through basically from Cooktown to Cairns, there has been a large amount of rainfall fall already. We have had a report here just north of Cairns of 450 mil over the past week. Um, that has resulted in some flooding of the Daintree River and Mossman River there. Um, there are warnings out for some of those, I think, or they might have just been lifted. And there's obviously a, um, a, a, a coastal rivers flood watch from Townsville North given this heavy rain. Down here over New South Wales and southeast Queensland, there is an upper level trough of cold pool, cold air moving north over the region. There's also some onshore winds and a trough further inland. Um, a combination of these, these two systems are, is producing um, severe thunderstorms inland. We do have some severe thunderstorms over northwest slopes and plains of, of Moree there this morning. Um, and that is expected to continue with further development through southern inland Queensland and northern inland um, New South Wales today. Some of these storms are likely to be severe and move towards the east. We don't think they'll reach the coastal areas because there's a cooler southeast change coming through the area, stabilising conditions. However, we could see some, some isolated thunderstorms and heavy showers, maybe some rain areas through southeast Queensland today and northeast New South Wales. Coffs Harbour received almost 100 mil this morning, caused some minor flash flooding there. And you can see these systems moving north up the coast. All right, let's move on to the rainfall forecast, which is absolutely significant. Okay, this is from the bomb. This is the next four days. You can see basically along the North Queensland coast areas from Mackay North have the potential to receive falls of um, up to 100 millimetres there, increasing through the Townsville region to 150, Cairns region to 200. Uh, then over here in the peninsula and the west, uh, eastern Gulf Coast you, you, and southern Gulf Coast, right around the Gulf Coast, you also have falls between two to, to 400 millimetres up there. Um, this is over the next four days. And then obviously across northern parts of um, Northern Territory there, again, falls of, of anywhere from two to three to 400, 400 in isolated patches around here where Darwin is. Now, you know, 250 overnight for one location, there's half a 500. So there's quite easily, you know, the rainfall that's already fallen and what's what's forecast next, some places may receive a metre of rain out of this system. That's the next four days out to the 27th, so Christmas Eve out to the 27th. Um, there's also good falls extending down into northwest Queensland here. However... It is the next four days after that that we hold high interest in. If my system's going to load. No, it's not. There we go. Okay. Now it's bound. There we go. All right. So from the 20... Let me get this right. There we go. Hold on there, please. Thank you. From the 28th till the 31st of December... 2015, we could be seeing further heavy rainfall from Cairns to Townsville, possibly extending down the coast a little bit further. We're not too sure about extending down, but we are pretty certain 
between um, Cairns and Townsville are going to receive quite a fair bit of heavy rain from the 28th to the 31st, up to up to 300 there as well for coastal regions. Look at this over inland. Wow, widespread falls of up to, well, say from 100 right up to 300, maybe a patch there of 400 through eastern NT and pretty much all of western Queensland, all right? The reason why this, these, this ensemble of models is predicting these amounts of rainfall is because there are a good number of forecast models now that bring this low or XTC down along the Queensland Northern Territory border. So nothing much has changed since yesterday. Um, you can see other parts of the country remain relatively dry between, between Christmas and New Year. The eight-day rainfall totals are, are quite phenomenal, to say the least. Now, if we see these sorts of rainfall totals occurring, there's going to be significant flooding for North Queensland. Um, concerned about it? Yes. Uh, 400 millimetres there around the Mount Isa region of northwest Queensland, that is a heck of a lot of water. And you can see the areas, the broad areas of how much rain is forecast. That is a heck of a lot of, of a lot of water to run through river systems, given that the ground is relatively bare up there. In fact, it is bare. It's dirt. So rain, you know, grass, vegetation, is not going to catch it and hold it back and let it soak in and build up. This this stuff's going to run off everywhere. What we would be advising for people, anyone in these areas, is to, is to keep a very close eye on forecast. Maybe start to prepare for potential flooding. All right. Um, there's still a little bit of uncertainty at the moment, but forecasts are certainly holding it with every run now for the next four to eight days. Um, the better prepared that people can be, the better. If you're travelling into these regions, please keep an eye on the roads for flooding. Drive safely. Do not enter flood water. Turn around, don't drown, as we say. Um, check local councils, official forecasts and warnings, flood areas, and like I said, you know, you, you travel your road road sites um, because no doubt areas are going to become flooded and cut off on certain roads. Um, we certainly don't want to p see people making poor decisions and being washed away and rescued. Um, and there's also going to be tracks and, and roads that become impassable. So people may be stuck up there for a period of time if, if they're already up there. And that's We've already seen that in parts of SA and inland parts of um, SA here. And also up here in Northern Territory somewhere there was people stranded as well. Let's move on to the forecast modelling um, and I'll be able to show you what is expected um, between now and New Year's. We're going to the EC model. It seems to be the one that, that is holding the most confidence at the moment along with access from the bomb. These two models have this low shifting across. This is today, the 24th. You can see the low the tropical low located here near Darwin at 997, and it did hit 997 this morning at Bachelor and Darwin. Um, now, if we progress on through to Christmas Day, you can see that low does start to track southeast, all right, towards the Gulf. On Boxing Day, it does enter the Gulf as still as a tropical low. Now, this is where we expect it to develop into a cyclone. It may be just a Cat 1, it could potentially reach a Category 2 system. Um, you can see there on the 27th, it's still over Gulf water, so that means it's intensifying further. And then on the 28th, EC has it as, as a potential tropical cyclone in the bottom of the Gulf here, right on the Queensland New South, um, Northern Territory border, 990. Okay, then this is where... We kind of hope this happens. Um, it's it's tough because we could see areas here of Western Queensland, NT, northern parts of Queensland go from drought to flood. Uh, it's a double-edged sword. We'd rather gentle rain, but I'm pretty sure people can deal with a week or two's worth of flooding other than a dry 
drought declared dust bowl um, and this certainly won't break the drought we will emphasize that these these areas up here have anywhere in Queensland which is 85 percent in a drought have years of recovery ahead of them it takes this rain and follow-up rain and months of it to re-establish everything through these areas that have been hit by drought for the past three to four years so enough on that but that's the 29th and EC has it tracking down the border now that means that anywhere to the east and the south of this system um, would would produce would have heavy rain occurring all right um, out to the 31st southwest Queensland still keeps going southwest Queensland on on New Year's Day um, 2nd of January starts to spit out through northern New South Wales obviously there's a trough extending through here through Queensland but that's a long way ahead all right um, let's go over here and have a look at GFS and we'll have a look at the monsoon trough for North Queensland coastal parts you can see there was a small low and there still is potentially just a small surface low that spun up on the monsoon trough here just to the north of Cairns that has delivered very heavy rainfall between Cape Flattery and Cairns um, the monsoon trough is expected to continue and possibly start to track south on Christmas Day down towards Townsville you can see where the streamlines come together there that it marks the trough um, Boxing Day and of course anywhere where you've got this monsoon trough heavy falls can can be expected it is still between Cairns and Townsville trying to track south um, another low tries to spin up there between Townsville and Cairns on the 27th monsoon trough is in this region between Townsville and Cairns I will go later all right so I need to skip through my PC wants to do a restart typical windows all right uh, monsoon trough on the 28th is down near Townsville so at this stage we do anticipate that the monsoon trough will come down as far as Townsville it is yet to be known if it'll come down as far as Mackay regardless from Mackay North there is heavy rain forecast over the outlook period and as well this trough does link back in here to the low slash cyclone over this period as well through inland parts of northern Queensland right so all in all there is a lot of rain forecast this is a good Christmas present although there's going to, there could be some flooding um, I'm pretty sure people would rather have this as a Christmas present than then further hot dry and drought conditions just to have a look down here we do have some rainfall forecast over southern parts of Queensland as well through this period not as much as up the top obviously isolated areas of up to 50 mil here um, they'd come in the form of coastal showers and, and possible inland storms over this outlook period as well all right guys stay safe our next video update will be on Boxing Day morning We'll take tomorrow off. Obviously, live forecasts and warnings will go through to um, Facebook. If I head over here and bring you up to our website, and this is where all of our advanced forecast maps and and um, text details are occurring. We uh, we now have three thousand HSC Premium members. And you can access the premium membership here it's 25 bucks a year we produce our own storm maps risk maps and cyclone maps that's our own opinion obviously and they have been being very accurate myself and Thomas produced those all right guys so this is where you can support us come over here and sign up for 24.95 a year um, and we cover everything from cyclones, storms, flood, heat waves, snow, frost, you name it, that's ongoing. All right, guys, thanks for watching and stay safe.